Hello everybody. So like um So I'm a big supporter of Taylor Swift and all you guys all know that and um all the way Taylor Swift 100%. <laughs> um So um so like probably a lot of you are wondering like oh who's this guy? What what how do you know why is he so interested in music? Um what is his what is his interest in music? Okay. So like here I'm saying like it's because because it's because I'm going to start talking about the year the year 1997 1998 1999 um um so I like I'm like kind of like an MTV child in a way you know MTV kind of first started I mean I don't remember even what the <sighs> video killed the radio star is that no what was the first MTV music video? I used to watch all of these. Um, I'm not the guy. It brings back some good memories. Mid '80s, I think. Um, I've watched all the MTV special shows on all this back when I used to have cable in college, and uh, then, then there was the, there was the time period after college where I didn't watch it, watch them. I didn't have cable at all. Didn't didn't watch TV much at all. MTV changed a lot. So it's been going through these these changes, kind of like Jackass, and that 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 era was kind of when I cut out of MTV for a while. It became too much reality, less music videos. Same thing with VH1, I believe. Um, so so you know, so who who am I to know much 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 about music? Um, you know, I think I'm probably you know I'm definitely kind of started out as your average kind of uh, you know kid growing up in the 80s 90s um i grew up in an artist family so that, that makes me more of an uh artistic kind of uh, uh i mean I, I i view things more artistically i don't you know, that's such a varied topic so i can't i can't claim anything necessarily just because i grew up in an artist family my dad was a ceramics professor that i necessarily have any any inclination that's more strongly drawn towards music other than the fact that the appreciation for the for the arts leads led my parents to like take us to Interlaken, um, you know, their festival of the arts summer summer um, concert series. We would go there as a, as, as a child. Um, you know, I grew up with my mom's records. My dad didn't listen to music much. My mom's records were kind of always the little the little secret thing that I would try to play when I could on our record player. Um, you know, Moody Blues. I was fascinated by her, by the Blue Elvis record. Uh, so, you know, kind of. I remember. I remember in the in the the eighties, late mid to late eighties. You know, uh, friends started started to get. Uh, you know, the parental advisory came out. That became that made it a big deal. N.W.A. I just remember, like, um, Guns N' Roses. That was like right when I was getting into music so um friends would you know would be wearing these shirts in fourth i remember fourth i remember fourth grade it, very clearly this is when a, a change occurred I, I, I think 1988 maybe um so i would go to my grandpa's house and he lived on a, he had a nice house on a, on one of the one of the a, a real beautiful inland lake up in northern michigan right near the sleeping bear dunes national park which was also named by good morning the, the town Right near the Sleeping Bear Dunes, Glen Arbor was named by Good Morning America as the most beautiful town in the whole country. So, my grandpa lived right there, um, on the lake that that is like there. The, the town is there basically because the lake's there. So, um, so I, you know, we would go there early in the morning on Sundays, and and while my and while my um my dad and my grandpa would talk. And started cook, cooking breakfast. I would be, um, I would be uh, in in the in the in the living room, looking out over Glen Lake, with big picture windows, um, flipping through the TV. The TV, he had cable TV, and it was the only it was my only access to cable TV. Well, um, uh, I. There were two shows that I that I watched that I remember watching, three, but, but there were mainly two. It was um, 
MTV. It was this, there was always this gold mining show. And, and, I, and, I've, and I've mentioned it several times. Um, I've, I've left many comments on the, on the gold rush people and all their profiles. No one has ever come up with the name of what this show was. But there was, it, was an, it, was like a, it was like an infomercial that was an hour, half an hour or an hour long. And it was all about gold mining and getting a gold pan and going out and looking for gold. So it, it's, it's, it's interesting how that infomercial, this is, again, this is late 80s, why that infomercial, MTV, and then there was like Baba Zoo, I think it was called. Bazoo? Bazoo? Oh, what was it called? It, it, was, it, was, it, was, a, it was a cartoon of bears. I can't remember the name of it. I, I used to watch that a little bit. There was a couple cartoons that would, that would play that I watched a little bit. But um, that wasn't the main focus. It was the gold mining and the MTV. And then specifically, I remember it was, it was, I was really focused in on it when, when we had Guns N' Roses' um, November Rain. That was like this song that really struck me back then. You know, very powerful music video, I guess. For the t and, then, and then, and then, Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses was this group that had this. That was like a lot of my friends liked them, and they would they would really their parents allowed them to like Guns N' Roses, but my parents didn't. The swearing, the parental advisory. Um, type of you know the nudity inside you know underneath the lies the lies 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 cover i remember there was that the nudity the bare breasts in there and it was just like that was like you know um something that was very powerful when i was that age um so uh so that's when i started watching mtv kind of a little bit then you know then then you know not shortly thereafter i've you know, been i've been in high school and going on to college but you know in high school i never had cable at all and i would only get i would only get opportunities to look at mtv you know in situations where i was at friends but i was always like going to mtv um even cmt a little bit um that's where the that's where i that's where i first um saw the music video um Refried Dreams with Tim McGraw. That was one of my first music video, country music videos I ever saw. So, um, then when I went to college, I, I had cable for the first time. And that was in the whole, um, actually, you want to know what? I didn't have cable in my dorm room. Maybe I did. I can't remember. But, 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 but it was the whole, um, I think I did. But it, but, but I was like the whole, I mean, I don't know exactly what happened to MTV after Jackass, other than, you know, there was a couple other uh, reality TV shows I kind of followed a little bit. Um, the, the, house, the group of people that lived together in different houses all over the world, country, I followed that a little bit. Um, but there was, um, but I was like the, I was like the, right there in the middle mix of the whole Jenny McCarthy um spring break boom when that happened the whole spring break boom um the wild spring break parties and in, in, that they had on mtv so i was like right there during all of that that's that's when i was like and you know what's funny is i really think that was also like the peak of mtv in many ways i mean maybe it wasn't maybe it's just my um but you have to th you have to think that like like my generation like we, we carry a lot of the we carry a lot of the support of the MTV and it, because because it was because the generations after me, you know, as as I separate myself from those, you know, they're gonna they're, they're the ones they, they look towards the, us, you know, as being it's like how I look towards my parents as like the '70s people, so they look towards us, my generation as the music people kind of for the MTV generation. So that's kind of the that's kind of a, a, a crown that we we carry, no matter what. So like I said before, I really feel like, and it's really like, I mean, it's almost like a very cut and dry m moment in history there. Almost like 9-11 made the mark where my generation represents that, um, that you know, the, the, the roots of the foundation of MTV. So like, like again, 
album Neom, the Jenny McCarthy, uh, Spring Break, Atip, it just, it's the, the peak of MTV. Um, so, and I also went on Spring Break my freshman year down in Florida, down in a place called Siesta Key. And, and, um, <laughs> Um, and then this is kind of what made me want to tell you this story is that uh, there was this I was down there with a bunch of guys a couple of us were at, were at the national championship for the division 3 basketball um, title on the team me and another guy and then there was a couple of friends that went with, that went with us and um, you know we're down there and, and now this is what made me think of the story about MTV but but I don't know I don't know how this connects then to this to this story but um you know there was this there was uh, these girls staying at the um same resort we were staying at one of one of my one of the friends that I was with his his friend his parents owned a, a, a timeshare or something so there was another there was a group of girls that were that were together down there in the same uh, same um complex and um one of them looked like Jenny McCarthy and uh and of course that was the one that I found the most attractive um and uh but I but I, you know I wasn't I was uh I was in no place to um to uh show any serious interest in that you know just spring break nothing and nothing of course nothing we hardly even spent any time with the, with those girls, but but they uh, the, uh, my other friends were much more boisterous and much more confident, aggressive, or whatever you want to call it, and they they they're the ones that did the talking. So, um, so uh, so it's so, and then in fact, there's a picture of us in a. There's a picture of me and this one girl. The one, this one girl had black hair. I think her name was Heather. And um, she, uh, there's a picture of her like s sitting next to me in this boat, and she's looking like she doesn't want anything to do with me. And um, which is fine. And uh, and la and later on, um, right when I was graduating from uh, Hope. Um, one of my friends that was with me, kind of, I would say, kind of the more the the, the 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 oldest of us all, the leader, kind of like guess you would say that. He gave me an he gave me an envelope. He gave me a piece of mail that he received, and it was it was from that girl in a boat, and it was it was quite a long letter. He gave me the letter. He gave me the pictures that were in there and everything, and um. The letter was the letter was to my friend it wasn't to me or anything but my friend gave me the letter and um and uh it talks about it, it and the girl's talking about basically you, you, you can tell she's she's seeing if there's any possibility that we could all get together again um and uh and then there's there's comments in there about how about I don't know how they knew, but they, they must have known that I really liked this blonde girl, this blonde girl that looked like Jenny McCarthy, that was with that was with their their group, and um, and she made some some jokes about that. There was a picture. There was there's a picture in there of, of her friend, this this girl, and uh, you know on the back of it she writes something about how here's a picture for Leif or something. I, I can't I can't remember the name of her friend. Um, so, you know, I I, 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 was friends with with this with the, with that Heather girl that wrote the letter on Facebook. I think I still am. Um, she's from Ohio or something. Her friend must be from Ohio too. I'm not sure. I was friends friends with her her other friend for a while. The the, the one that was like Jenny McCarthy, but um, she uh, she uh, defriended me. She defriended me at some point. Um, she didn't she didn't it, uh, uh, she didn't turn out to. Uh, after I got to know her on Facebook, this is like seven, eight years ago. Um, she didn't turn out, didn't appear to be um, maybe the most intelligent person in the world, or friendly, maybe is a better way of putting it. Um, 
So that's the story. Um, and the reason why I mentioned the letter is because, I mean, you got four guys going down to, um, to spring break in Florida in the heart, in the, in the middle of the whole MTV music, or MTV spring break pandemonium kind of, you know, Limp Biscuit on the beach, jamming out live in Cancun kind of moment, you know, right when Jackass is at its very height, uh, Tom Green, you know, it's all happening right then. And these four guys go down to Florida for our spring break, actually make that contact with this group of girls, which is the whole, you know, that's where the rubber hits the road, you know? So that's like the, the, gr the grit, they call it, you know? So that's, that's kind of what you're going there for, not as a, as a college kid, spring break. So, um, and then, and then those girls, and then one of those girls, even, even, like, const what is the word for it? Confirms it, writes a letter back to one of my friends. And my friend, and my friend gives me the letter with the pictures, the evidence, the proof that it all happened. So it's, it's like a relic in time is what it is. And I hold on, and I, and I have that. Not because I, I not not because I want anything to do with those people at all, but because that's like that's like what MTV was all about. That's what you know, and I and I retain that because I'm the one that saved it. So the rest of them, you know, they're, they're going to retain it for me because he gave it to me. The other ones don't care, but you know, I think it's, I think it's an interesting story. It, um, it, it, it gives you more of a sense of why I'm, I'm connected to music in a very personal, kind of intimate way. Um, MTV as well. Just thought I'd share that.